This new GPU is going to spell serious trouble for NVIDIA, and the RTX 3070 Ti is a complete joke. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Brobot. Brobot is a free, super fast program that scours the internet searching for restocks of the latest GPUs, CPUs, and consoles to help you find what you're looking for before it goes out of stock. Thanks to Brobot, I was finally able to purchase a PS5 due to its extremely fast speed and in my case, I noticed it was actually minutes faster than all other popular bots I've tried. So if you're looking for a tool that can help you secure that new GPU, CPU, or console, be sure to click the Discord and Telegram links in the description below to find out more. So first, let's go ahead and talk about AMD's upcoming next-generation graphics card, which at this point is now confirmed to be an MCM design or multi-chip module design, which means that it's going to have not just one, but two GPUs on the same graphics card, which should allow it to get significant increases in terms of performance. Now, this information comes from a free desktop. It was originally found in a Linux Linux kernel update and if we go ahead and take a look at that Linux kernel update we can see that an AMD employee has in fact confirmed that yes this is an MCM designed GPU uh, now the GPU in question here or the GPUs are going to be part of a cDNA 2 architecture graphics card and what that means is that you're not going to be seeing this on any gaming cards uh, coming out like you know anytime in the next couple months here now we should be seeing this type of design going forward into RDNA 3 which apparently at least according to the most recent leaks and rumors that should be coming out at the very latest by the end of 2022 hopefully it does come out sooner than that but I guess uh, I wouldn't be too surprised if it was the end of 2022 but I think this does lend some credence to the leaks and rumors that recently came out from the YouTuber Red Gaming Tech uh, where he said that apparently the new RDNA 3 GPU uh, the flagship 7900 XT or at least what he believes to be the 7900 XT is going to feature a multi-chip module design it's going to have two times the amount of shaders as we currently see in the 6900 XT and in certain workloads could be up to over 2.5 times faster than the 6900 XT, which is a mammoth increase in terms of performance. And in fact, if this does end up translating over to gaming performance and there's no extra latency hit going from a single uh, monolithic design to a multi-chip module design, well then this would actually be probably the biggest leap in terms of graphics performance that we have ever seen from one generation to the next. And that's going to be an absolutely huge deal. So hopefully that does end up coming true. Uh, now, personally, uh, my guess for RDNA 3 is that there is going to be somewhat of a latency hit because, again, a monolithic die is going to have less latency, or at least typically you would assume that it would have less latency than having to go from one GPU die to the next, even if these new GPUs coming out from AMD do have a lot of cache, which should help mitigate that. So I'm expecting uh, the RDNA 3 7900 XD probably to be a little bit less than two times the amount of performance uh, on average in gaming when compared to the 6900 XT. However, either way, this is going to be a huge uplift in terms of performance when we do end up seeing it in RDNA 3 and it's good to see that they are making some progress uh, first coming out with the cDNA 2 architecture. But now let's go ahead and talk about the RTX 3070 Ti because there's a lot I want to say about that car but before we talk about the 3070 Ti I first want to talk about the 3080 Ti because I think that both these GPUs represent you know particularly horrible value uh, as compared to the 3080 and 3070 and of course the 3080 Ti came out first so let's start out with that and I think it's the actually most offensive card out of the two. So the RTX 3080 Ti is a card that a lot of people have been waiting for for a long time. Uh, a lot of people, including me, were speculating that it would come out at $1,000 MSRP. In fact, that's what I was being told by some sources. Uh, it turns out at the last minute, they decide, okay, we're going to change it to $1,100 and then $1,200 US dollars. And for $1,200 US dollars, you're getting a card that has two gigabytes more VRAM than the RTX 3080, and it gets you about 10% more performance. Uh, so it's definitely nothing special there. And I would certainly say that you know spending $500 more MSRP for a card that's only going to get you 10% more performance and two gigabytes more VRAM is definitely not worth it and I know it might seem like a decent deal if you can get one for the MSRP right now as uh, if you were to try and buy say an RTX 3090 over on eBay you'd probably be running yourself over 3,000 US dollars to get that card so it might seem like a good deal but that's kind of like saying well you know eating the sandwich with just a dollop of crap on it isn't quite as bad as you know just eating a full-on turd so uh, that's kind of the analogy that I can think of because, yeah, spending $1,200 US dollars on a flagship GPU right now is certainly not a good deal, at least not in my opinion. In fact, that's absolutely outrageous. I mean, it wasn't too long ago that you could buy a 980 Ti for what I believe was MSRPing around $600 US dollars. And I know that there's been inflation, but inflation has definitely not led to a doubling in terms of the prices. I mean, your dollar is not worth half of what it was back then. Now, uh, in the last year or two here, the uh, US government
government has been printing trillions of dollars. So going forward, you're not going to see probably 600 US dollars for an ADTI class card again. But again, $1,200 for the 3080Ti is absolutely outrageous. I mean, it wasn't too long ago that the uh, 2080 Ti came out at 1,000 US dollars and everybody was absolutely outraged, including me. But suddenly the 3080 Ti comes out at 1,200 US dollars. And I've been seeing some people online say, you know, actually this is a pretty good deal. And yeah, it just to me, no, this is not a good deal. The 3080 Ti is an absolute ripoff at 1,200 US dollars. And I certainly wouldn't suggest that anybody buy it as this is going to contribute to Nvidia continuing to raise their prices if we continue to support these ever increasing prices, which there's just absolutely no justification for. Now, looking at the RTX 3070 Ti, I think this one is almost just as offensive. It comes in at about uh, 600 US dollars for the MSRP. And looking at the reviews, we can see that it has about 10% more performance than the RTX 3070. However, it still has the same eight gigabytes of VRM, which is just absolutely outrageous at 600 US dollars. And so once again, we're looking at a card here, which just the price to performance is ridiculous. It's definitely not a good buy in my opinion. And this is just another example of Nvidia trying to make more money off of the backs of gamers because, you know, really they did not need to release the 3080 Ti and the 3070 Ti. They don't really offer you a whole lot more than the current 3070 and 3080 that are already out. And they're just charging a whole lot more money for them. The only reason why they did end up releasing these cards is because well, they can make them using the same die as the 3080 and 3070 and charge more money for them because they're probably looking at the secondhand market and just seeing how much money these cards were selling for. I mean, when RTX 3080s are going for over 2000 US dollars, Nvidia is probably like, well, why don't we try and take some of that money? I mean, why are people going and selling our cards for way more when we could go ahead and sell our own cards for way more? And it looks like that's probably what they decided to go ahead and do because again, you could actually take a 3080 Ti and make a 3080 out of it, but instead they're deciding to make a 3080 Ti and the same goes for the 3070 Ti. They could make a 3070 out of it, but instead they're deciding to make a 3070 Ti. You're not getting a lot more, but it's a lot more expensive. So I'm just getting so sick of these ever increasing prices every single generation. It seems like a certain amount of the PC tech community uh, just wants to accept them. They're like, oh yeah, prices are going up, uh, whatever. And I'm just, I'm not going to accept this anymore. I'm, I'm done. I'm sick and tired of these prices going up every single generation and I think it's time that we decide to push back so uh, I know that a lot of people who are watching this video right now are probably in agreement with me that the prices are way too high but there's a lot of people who might not see this video who might not know that you know not too long ago you could get these class of GPUs for far far less so uh, what I want to ask from you guys is not only do I suggest that you not go out there and spend you know well over a thousand US dollars on a GPU that's barely better than the card below it even though it, I know it can be very difficult and it's really hard to get any card whatsoever right now but I also have to ask you please share this video with all your friends and especially those friends who maybe don't watch YouTube videos typically as those people may not uh, understand just how ridiculous the pricing is right now and if we can convince just a couple other people to you know let these ridiculously priced cards rot on shelves well then I think that we're gonna be doing the whole PC tech community a favor as we just need to simply stop supporting these ridiculous prices but hey that's just what I think do you think that Nvidia's pricing has gone too far or do you think that it's just fine let me know your thoughts in the comments below and of course, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.